Hello, my name is Dr. Helen Watt. I'm one of the doctors on the Euromed staff here at the Alternative Integrative Medical Cancer Center. The tip for today is what can we do to prevent cancer? And there's probably five to six steps that are pretty minimal and would probably be the most important for all of us to remember. One of them is to get good sleep. Nobody can force you to sleep, but if you can get at least six to eight hours of sleep, that would be great. There's a vestigial or old fashioned organ in the body called the pineal gland, and it produces melatonin, which is a hormone that is actually anti-cancer for both men and women. That hormone cannot be produced when a person is working night shifts, nor can it be produced if while you're trying to sleep, the retina receives any light. So when you sleep, try to turn off all of your night lights and your hallway lights, as well as trying not to get on night shifts, and you can produce plenty of good melatonin to help you against cancer. So sleep is number one. Number two is a good healthy diet. Everybody knows that you can eat junk food, and like the fast food nation film, you can be pretty miserable, have chronic disease, and everything else that goes along with eating the wrong foods. But if you would eat right for your blood group, there's a certain book whose name I will not advertise, it makes it pretty easy to follow the avoid list. To avoid something doesn't cost a penny except willpower, and that avoiding actually keeps the inflammatory molecules out of your system, which is pro-cancer. Also, inflammation promotes pain. And if you want to have an anti-pain diet, then you need to avoid those foods wrong for your blood group. So a healthy diet, primarily related to what your blood group is, I have found to be the easiest pathway to follow. After diet and sleep comes exercise. Everybody knows that exercise is good for you in many, many ways. The pulling of muscle and bone keeps your bones hard, therefore less osteoporosis. Exercise also produces enough passage of your blood through your liver that your liver detoxifies the blood even better. We now have evidence to show that actually exercise helps against Alzheimer's. It helps improve the brain's functioning. And finally, one of the things that exercise is probably the most good for is to keep us, quote, young and healthy. It also helps us not to put on extra weight, which is the fourth component, keeping a healthy weight which for your height and for your bone structure depends on how much that would be for both men and women. However, the studies have shown that fat and obesity alone can increase chances of cancer of various organs. Just fat alone with no other risk factors including family history or smoking or drinking or any other thing considered um, decreasing the immune system. So losing weight to the proper weight is another way to be able to do it by eating correctly for your blood group. The last and I guess um, pretty common understanding is what we do as a lifestyle in general and that is you know hanging around with the wrong people, you know breathing in side screen smoke, um, not drinking the right uh, types of water, or not using bottled water, but bottled water that's not in glass bottles, but is, in fact is in plastic bottles. All of those environmental toxins just flood our system and encourage cancer to grow. If you actually take plastic water bottle, you put it in the freezer to ice it down, you actually produce more toxins in that water once you drink that water than if you just left it at room temperature. So one of the things we like to try to make sure we do is to practically drink, excuse me, try to drink glass um, water bottles instead of just the plastic water bottles.